everyone, and welcome to the third episode of B-Metal's monthly series hosted by Six. I'm pleased to, to be joined today by Derek Iwanaka, Vice President of Investor Relations and Corporate Development with B-Metal's. Derek's going to walk us through a presentation, and after we're going to be going into a live Q&A session. If you have any questions, please ask them using the Q&A chat found on the right-hand side of your screen at any time. And as a note about today's presentation, it's available in the handouts tab on the right-hand side of your screen. Because this is a series, you'll automatically be registered and notified of the next episode with your attendance and registr registration today. Um, but as always, uh, because this is on six.com, today's recording will be available in the coming days. And with that, Derek, I'd like to pass things over to you to get us started. Thanks, Gav, and thanks to Six for hosting us for this webinar today. Um, thanks to all of you for, for joining today, taking a little time out of your day to uh, have a listen at uh, you know what, what B Metals is up to um, since our last update. It's basically been a month since our last uh, monthly update. So I, I, actually, we didn't have a ton of news. Uh, I will get into some of it, which came from our Pangini project. But, but largely, I would say this is a marketing update just to tell you what we're doing. So in case anybody's wondering, what are these guys up to? Well, let's go through it. Uh, hopefully, I won't be making too many forward statements. But if we are, uh, please have a look at this slide. And then, so the, the first thing I just want to uh, point out is that we just created a new YouTube channel for everybody out there. Uh, I really encourage you to take a look. We have a whopping, I think, eight subscribers at this very moment. So please have a look. Um, all the webcasts uh, or summits that we've done with six are posted on there. And any other ones that we do, um, additionally, we will be adding them here. So. This is a great place, uh, kind of a depository for all the videos that we're doing. And if you ever want to find out about Japan or Pangeni or uh, what's going on in South Mountain, almost all that is going to be um, aggregated into this channel here. So I encourage you to take a look uh, at our B Metals YouTube channel. Next up. Um, just uh, a little over a week ago now, we, we did our, uh, oops, I think I skipped this slide here. Nope, okay, that's right. Um, we did the uh, B-Metals on the Lasan Curve uh, presentation, and uh, there were a number of different companies that participated in this webinar, and ours was featured kind of, uh, not sure you'll be able to see it, but uh, we were kind of right on the expiration or pre-discovery point uh, on the, the chart there. So, you know, what I highlighted was that uh, we are just at the stage where if you do make a discovery, uh, the, the stock tends to go much higher than where we are today. And um, of course, that does usually tail off after the discovery is made. And then you go into a... Um, a lower stage there, which um, kind of goes into that next trough or the first trough on the chart there. Uh, and then finally, when you get into construction and production, you, you go back up the curve again. So um, at the moment, all of our projects are at the expiration stage and uh, we have been drilling at uh, Pangeni and we've all, we are also drilling in Japan. And of course, as most of you know, we've been drilling in uh, Idaho as well. So uh, we've been active on on three continents. Uh, expiration results have been coming out kind of throughout the year. I don't know if we're going to have more on Japan, but I'll, I'll touch on that a little bit later. But suffice to say, um, we are in a great place on the curve um, for this uh, Lasan curve. And uh, you know, if anybody has any questions, I'd be happy to answer them afterwards. Now, hopefully some of you saw this pitch battle that we did. Uh, I was matched up against my former colleague, Patrick Donnelly, who's the CEO of uh, E79 Resources. And yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. We uh, we had a number of people that came out to watch it. Um, I, we did have uh, at least some feedback, but you know, I'd love to hear any other feedback that you have. Did, did people like this um, event? Or did they not like it? And if so, you know, why not? Or why did you like it? So um, 
you know, really today's presentation, I kind of just want to get feedback from all of you. So I'm just going to go through kind of what we've done. And then at the end, I'm going to ask you, you know, what we, what you think we could do to improve. Uh, our CEO, John Wilton, couldn't be here today because he is actually in London as we speak. Uh, he's at the Minds of Money show in London right now and um, walking the floor. I understand it's, uh, it's reasonably attended, but um, haven't heard anything else yet. Uh, but I'd be happy to um, inform anybody once I hear a little bit more on what's going on at Minds of Money in London this year. We did uh, attend last year. Uh, unfortunately, COVID kind of uh, rocked us. I think that's right around when the Omicron variant uh, was kind of spreading across. I almost got trapped myself in London. So, um, but suffice to say, we are marketing. Our fearless CEO is on the road and uh, telling the story right now in London. And then we're going to continue to tell the story uh, with uh, the Six Mix. This is their now becoming an annual conference by Six, and uh, we are going to participate. We will be doing a presentation here uh, in the next week or so. I actually don't even know what exact date it is, but I'm sure you will all be emailed once we find out the exact date. So we will be presenting here. Uh, it's just a, I believe it's a 12 minute presentation, uh, sorry, 15 minute presentation. And uh, that's just to give everybody an introduction to what we're doing with the company. And at the moment, uh, working on an animation, I think I touched on it last uh, summit. And um, these are kind of screenshots of what that animation is going to look like. This is not the final product, just so you know, but, but at least it gives you a little indication if you can see that. Um, starts from the top left-hand corner and then kind of makes its way down to the bottom right-hand corner. Uh, that's basically going through kind of the introduction to B Metals, the background, which would be that the core founders were uh, the same core founders that uh, created B Gold back in 1988, and then uh, B2 Gold in 2007, and eventually then B Metals was was spawned out of um, that same crew of uh, of, of supporters, uh, shareholders, and directors. Um, so that should be finished, I hope, before the end of this year, and then we can launch it uh, either by the end of this year or early next year. So that'll be a really cool, I think, animation and good visual um, uh, tool that we can use for, for marketing the company and just for giving everybody a, a brief introduction um, to what we're doing and what, what B Metals is all about. And lastly, not because it's least important, but I, I, I also just want to give you an update on what we're doing with our projects. Um, I'll just start with Pangani because it's it's most topical since we are drilling now in Pangani um, in Zambia. Uh, that, uh, just to refresh you, is uh, on the western side of the Zambian copper belt. And uh, we are drilling through a thin layer of Kalahari sand cover and exploring for large or world-class copper discoveries. That's uh, what has been made along the belt. And that's exactly what we hope to do ourselves. Um, we completed uh, a phase of air core drilling there this year. And uh, we just started up the, uh, the actual diamond drilling. And we should be doing at least, I think, six or seven holes there and following up partially on what we did last year, but also on the air core that we completed this year. We have some great targets and the results will probably be, I'd say forthcoming early in the new year. So maybe January or February, we could have the results from that program. Um, so uh, that should be exciting. Uh, let's next, let's, let's look at Japan, the Kazan Gold Project. That's our portfolio of five gold projects in Japan, which I visited last month. And uh, we are drilling at the Kato Gold Project as we speak. Um, we should have results, like I said, we could have them before the end of the year, but I suspect it could get pushed into the new year because um, crews will shut down for Christmas and, 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 and the new year. So, uh, so I think it's probably going to be early next year, but there's a chance that we could get it uh, kind of mid this month. 
if if it's possible, we will most certainly get those results out. So that's something really to look forward to because you know the next probably two or three holes could really open up the the Kato Gold project. Uh, we've had two good intersections on the project this year. If the next uh, two or three holes hit and we're going much further along strike, then I think that could actually really open up a, a nice can of worms for us. So that, that could really be exciting if um, those next two or three holes uh, end up hitting. And then lastly, uh, our South Mountain property in uh, Idaho, we did uh, complete the uh, electromagnetic survey there and uh, we're just compiling the results right now. So we could have a, a, a um, news release on that project before the end of this year. Uh, so one more thing to, to look out for um, either by the end of this year or early next year. So we are active on all three properties. In addition to all that, we're all still looking at other uh, advanced and early stage gold projects to add to the portfolio. So keep you busy trying to create value. I know it's been incredibly tough in the market, although it appears that um, at least for the juniors that uh, they have bounced off their bottoms. Um, we are kind of, well, we probably got another month or so to, to get through the, the, the rest of the tax loss selling, but we seem to be holding up fairly well um, into the new year. I think that the prospects are looking much better given that we're going to have quite a bit on the news front, but also just the, the market seems like it's, it's probably not going to really improve um, substantially until the next year. So um, that's it from the project side of things. Um, now I wanted to kind of put it back uh, to you. Uh, for anybody who's watching live or, or end up watching the replay of this, I'd really like to hear feedback from, from you. Uh, we've been doing a number of these webinars and uh, we seem to be getting 30 to 40, sometimes 50 to as many as uh, about 100 people on these live summits. And um, sometimes we get some interaction, but most of the time I'd say people are solid in the background. So I, I'd really like to hear uh, any feedback that any of you have, whether you'd like to ask a question today um, online um, on the summit, or if you want to email me, um, you can just e email me at info at bmetalscorp.com. Or you can give me a call, 604-928-2797, uh, or just visit our website if, if you can't remember any of that. Um, so again, I'd love to hear your feedback. Are we doing enough of these? Or are we doing too much of these? Do you like us reaching you by email? Would you rather us give you a call? Uh, any feedback that you have, I'd love to hear it, and uh, hopefully we can improve on our communications. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, that's just our, our summary. We are on uh, social channels, whether it be Facebook, LinkedIn, and uh, Twitter, and of course now on YouTube. So if anybody wants to communicate with us uh, with those channels, we again, we'd be happy to hear from you. Um, so with that, I will hand it back over to Cam. Thanks, Derek. Yeah, and just as a reminder, if anyone has any feedback now, uh, or if you think one in the next couple of minutes, you can submit that in the public chat, absolutely, or you can submit it to the Q&A tab as well. That gets right to Derek, uh, and hopefully we can even address it live. Um, but Derek, we've also had some questions come in that I'd like to address now. Um, first question, you know, what are you most proud of from your team's work this year? Uh, no question. I think uh, getting the program started, uh, this our inaugural drilling program in Japan, uh, it has not been easy. We had to, well, it, it feels as though, you know, North America and, and probably to a greater extent, Europe has been um, open for business for the, at least the last year. Whereas in, in many parts of Asia, especially in, in Japan, uh, it has been very difficult um, for foreigners to get into the country. Uh, Japan opened up um, just in the spring of this year. Uh, basically, there was it was closed off for nearly three years, and uh, we were able to get our our drill um, team uh, into the uh, into the country onto the property. We drilled. We uh, have hit two nice intersections of gold, and um, so I'm really proud that the guys were able to get in there, get that done. Uh, yes, I wish that drilling was going a little bit quicker, but 
you know what? I've been to the property and it is very challenging there. Um, when you're going from that soft clay into um, harder material, when you hit the quartz, uh, it, it does end up creating troubles with drilling, but it looks like our guys are doing a really good job of mitigating that. And like I said, um, we should have results coming um, hopefully either in the next couple of weeks or early in the new year. Great. Um, and speaking of the new year, the next question is, in your opinion, what's the most significant or exciting catalyst that shareholders should be keeping track of for 2023? Um, definitely uh, keeping track of our results. So we should have results coming from Japan uh, early in the new year, if not by the end of this year. And certainly from Zambia, you know, uh, the potential there is so big to, to make a... a um, an amazing copper discovery in Zambia because um, of the pedigree of that area. So uh, we should have results early in the new year from from that project as well. And, um, you know, I think we have two great shots. In addition, I'll, I'll just add that we are going to do some some drilling at some of our other properties in Japan. I believe the Todoroki property, uh, which I also visited last month, that's in Hokkaido. Um, we should be doing some drilling there. And if possible, we may drill uh, in Kyushu at our, our Toshiro property as well. So we have some great shots uh, with both of those properties. Uh, and of course, Kato is, is what we're really um, crossing our fingers for uh, before the end of the year to see some new results. Right. Absolutely. And maybe this is a good piggyback. But the other question we have is, you know, what do you believe will be BMAIL's greatest challenge in 2023? Oh, greatest challenge. I mean, uh, I guess we're in the same boat as many other uh, junior companies, or actually almost most equities, you could say, uh, in that uh, the market has been fairly unstable uh, in the past months. Uh, everybody's kind of waiting to see how, especially how the U.S. Fed handles the inflation and uh, tackles the interest rates. And, you know, everybody's kind of waiting with bite, bite, bite breath. Um, Baby breath. I, I don't know exactly when that's going to end, when, when the interest rates are going to kind of start to taper off uh, on the increases. But um, just looking around the world, uh, it seems as though most countries are still increasing their interest rates. And it seems as though inflation is, for the most part, coming under control um, from what I've seen, at least in the, in the headlines and, and from the reports I've seen. Um, but, uh, obviously it's going to take some more time. So yeah, we're, I think we're, we're all waiting to see how the general markets turn out because that, that has a huge impact on, you know, B metals and every other junior mining company out there. Right. Well, listen, Derek, I want to thank you for the, uh, the great presentation, a great walk through what you guys are doing, what you're looking forward to. Um, but that's all the questions we have for today. So before we wrap up, I want to pass things back to you to close us out. Okay. Thanks a lot, Cam. Um, Sorry, there were no other live questions today, but as I said, I, I'd really encourage you to uh, submit your feedback, whether it be by email, by phone. Uh, happy to hear what you have to say to improve our communication. And uh, I'm looking forward to delivering some more news to, to all of you when we get the results from Japan and from Zambia, uh, also from South Mountain in, in Idaho. So thanks again for joining us today and uh, see you next time.